Well, this is going to be my pathetic attempt at a little documentary. I'd like to call it a tutorial, but not really teaching anybody. I don't claim to be the best, that's for sure, but um, I do all right sometimes. So I'm just going to show everybody what I do. Um, this is the bike. It's an 05 Suzuki DRZ 400 SM. It's in great shape. Hardly ever ride it, actually. Um, hopefully by the time this thing's done, it'll still be in great shape. Let's see if I can explain a little bit about the technique I use before we actually get moving here. One finger, put one finger on the clutch, one finger on the brake. It's just how I ride all the time. I've changed the clutch lever. You can see it's an ASV clutch lever. The reason I like this lever, for one, it folds away. For two, it's um, adjustable. The stock lever, you can see my gloves. I've had to cut down the plastic. I usually use the one finger, pull the clutch, release the clutch. When the plastic was on there and the stock lever, it used to hit on that and I never got enough release. Now I get enough. You may have the same problem. All right, anyway, always remember, cover the rear brake, okay? Hopefully you can still hear me. Give this a couple shots. Show you what I do. it up in second, shift through third, shift through fourth. Don't use any clutch on the shifts while the wheel's up. It's a little bit too much traffic here. I don't know what I'm going to do about this. Let's see what happens when I get down to the straightaway. As I said earlier, I don't really ride this bike that much. The bike actually has 1,960 miles on it. But ever since buying a KTM, this one really sits. This one seems to be the one that everybody has the most questions with about how to wheelie though, so that's why I'm using this one. Obviously, you can just hammer the throttle and the thing will stand up. Okay, that was first or fifth gear, just with the throttle. Go down to fourth, down to third. I'm about 
a second. Just so you can see how my fingers work here. So I'll cover the rear brake. Listening to how the motion is, how the engine sounds, you should be able to realize how the timing goes. Gears is a 
trying to pull them out. Just being observant, you'll, you'll get some ideas. It's always easier to pull it up when you're standing, too. I don't really like to stand because I can't shift when I'm standing. A lot of times I just carry the gear out. 